In this computer age, people wonder why it is that we still need animals for research. Can't we just simulate events that occur in people or in animals on, in a computer model? The problem is, is that it's too complex, too variable. There's biological diversity that's difficult to account for in a computer model. And here's what I mean. Let's suppose you take a mouse and you inoculate it uh, under the skin or, or in the muscle with a particular vaccine. That vaccine is then sort of broken down and processed and presented locally to the draining lymph node where those proteins, those vaccine proteins, are presented to the immune system, to various antigen-presenting cells, what are called antigen-presenting cells, that, that process those viral proteins or bacterial proteins and present them to the immune system. Those antigen-presenting cells have names like B cells and macrophages and dendritic cells, and they all sort of have this complex interplay among each other based on what's going on in that local lymph node. Then the immune system is stimulated, and those cells then travel to various different parts of the body where they then can be ready should the person be exposed, or in this case the animal, be exposed to that, uh, that uh, the, vac the, the, the uh, virus or the bacteria that the vaccine is trying to prevent. That's just a very complex interplay that is virtually impossible to, to mimic in, uh, in, uh, on a computer. And so animals have been enormously helpful in helping us to develop not only vaccines, but also a variety of drugs that have helped us to live longer, better, healthier lives.